Pleasant day everyone! Welcome to UP Open University's 26th Foundation Day. I am Margaret Hermine Suarez, University Researcher of the Faculty of Information and Communication Studies and concurrently serves as the Program Development Associate for International Linkages. The past year has been challenging to all of us, but I would like to believe that it also gave us opportunities to assess our standing and create possibilities possibilities like this, celebrating milestones together, physically apart, but still working together for the same goals. Okay, before I get emotional, let us start our virtual celebration with a warm welcome message from our Chancellor, Dr. Melinda de la Peña Pandalaria. Last year, we witnessed a disruption in education that has been considered as unprecedented. About a month after the lockdown, it was estimated that over 1.6 billion learners in over 190 countries were affected by the closure of schools to prevent the spread of the COVID-19. As the virus resurges, around 1 billion students continue to be affected by the full or partial closure of schools and universities increasing the risk of learning loss, dropping out of education, and social isolation. Further assessment of the impact of COVID-19 also showed that disability, gender, nationality, ethnicity, poverty, and many other factors prevented many learners from being included in the remote mode of instruction because of lack of internet access. For disability alone, we are looking at approximately 15% of the world's population, representing more than 1 billion people. But we can also ask ourselves, aren't these the same barriers that prevented these groups from being part of the teaching and learning environment even before the COVID-19 pandemic, given the kind of education system that we have, that which requires the physical presence of the teacher and the students in a physical space in a specified time or schedule. Last year, we have witnessed many of our fellow educators grappled with technology-enabled mode of delivering instruction in a MacGyver style of solving problems and addressing the challenges head on, both teachers and students were forced to be flexible and agile to embrace a learning environment that would suit their context no matter what that context is, just to ensure that learning would continue even if the students are not coming to schools. Unfortunately, we were also witnesses to some academic institutions, even those with long history of providing educational opportunities in the form of formal degrees, closing down or stopping operations. And sadly, we also witness many learners who were excluded from learning opportunities due to the various barriers which may be addressed along the framework of sustainability in education. Sustainability has become a buzzword in the recent years. Along with the articulation of the impact of the fourth industrial revolution, there were also efforts to push into the consciousness of everyone the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. But what about sustainability in education? specifically in the higher education context? Is it enough that we anchor ourselves, the academic institutions, to sustainable development goal number four? As we continue to hope that this pandemic will soon be over and start preparing for how it will be beyond COVID-19, we can also look at now as the opportunity to pave the path 
towards a more sustainable educational system that which can survive whatever disruptions that will come its way and is more inclusive to all types of learners. Based on our experience, sustainable education is something that is agile or flexible, open or inclusive, relevant to the various needs of the various types or different types of learners or learner-centered, and of course, quality assured. There may be some features that may surface as we continue our discourse on the future of learning and how education should be in the years to come, something that we have started but hope to further intensify this year. This year, 2021, is UPOU's 26th year. 26 years may not really be that significant, but as we stand tall and proud of what we've been through the last years, strengthened by our conviction and the need to innovate and to continue being relevant amidst the various disruptions, we believe that there are many reasons and milestones to celebrate. It is therefore with great pleasure that I welcome you all in the virtual celebration of UPOU's 26th founding anniversary with the theme, University of the Future, Sustainability and Agility Amidst Disruption. This celebration will not just be a one-day activity, but a year-long series of events made possible through the affordances of the modern information and communications technologies, something that is already a culture at UPOU. Behind the significant milestones during the last 26 years were the strong support and enabling mechanisms. First, from the UP Board of Regents and the UP system officials, especially from UP President Danilo L. Concepcion, who already made a pronouncement that UPOU is the university of the future. Our partner organizations who journeyed with us in achieving our common vision of inclusive quality education, our academic staff consisting of our full-time and affiliate faculty members, the lecturers, our reps and admin staff, our alumni, and our students who provided us with the anchor and the reason to continue innovating and serving in a sustainable way. Thank you for being with us these last 26 years. Thank you for celebrating with us. And thank you for being instrumental in making UPOU the way it is today. Magandang araw, mabuhay. Thank you, Chancellor Bandalaria. Indeed, UPOU will continue working for its advocacy for sustainability and agility in education amidst disruptions, all while maintaining equity and excellence in education. Now to give his message for UPOU, let us welcome the President of the University System, Honorable Danilo L. Concepcion. Mga kapwa guro, kapwa tagapamahala sa UP, at mga katuwang sa remote teaching and learning. Naway nasa mabuting kalagayan kayong lahat at ligtas mula sa anumang panganib na may kinalaman sa pandemyang COVID-19. Maligaya at makabuluhang pagdiriwang po ng ikadalawamput-anim na anibersaryo ng pagkakatatag ng UP Open University. Sa nakalipas na taon ay nasaksihan nating lahat ang mga malaking pagbabago na isinakatuparan sa buong daigdig upang makapagpatuloy sa pag-aaral ang mga kabataang estudyante at mga profesional sa kanilang mga paaralan, kolehiyo o universidad. Bagamat sarado ang mga kampus at nasa kanilang tahanan ng ating mga mag-aaral, Sinimulan naman nating lapatan ng mapanglikha at katanggap-tanggap na mga solusyon, ang mga hamon ng kasalukuyang antas ng community quarantine at krisis sa ating bansa. Dito po sa Pilipinas, gumaganap ang UP sa isang napakahalagang papel sa pangkalahatang pagsulong ng naaangkop na digital and remote teaching and learning 
na ayon sa ating mga pamantayan at pangangailangan. Pinangungunahan ng UP Open University ang pagtuturo, pag-aaral, at pananaliksik gamit ang pinaka-high-tech na digital resources. Ang UPOU ang nanguna sa paggamit ng mga makabagong pamamaraan, learning resources at teknolohiya para magamit at tularan ng lahat ng constituent units ng UP system sa simula ng unang semester ng academic year 2020-2021. Pinatunayan ng UPOU ang papel nito sa paglikha ng University of the Future, hindi lamang sa Pilipinas kung hindi maging sa Timog Silangang Asia. Sa tulong ng UPOU ay natutunan ng lahat ng guro, kawani at estudyante sa mga UP constituent units kung paano maging mahusay na independent learners and educators gamit ang mga digital at online platforms. Naging bihasa na rin ang ating mga guro sa pagsali sa dati mangilan-ngilan o eksklusibong webinars at online classrooms, sa paggawa at paggamit ng iba't ibang platforma para sa open and distance e-learning, at sa pagpapalawak pa ng akses ng mga mag-aaral at guro sa ating mga inilalabas na educational o learning resources. Kung noong mga nakalipas na taon ay sinimulan natin ang talakayan tungkol sa pagkakaroon natin ng University of the Future, ngayon ay pinauunlad na natin ang ating karanasan at pagkakaunawa sa kung ano ito. Paano ito mapapangasiwaan ng mas mahusay pa? Ano ang mga values at skills na dapat nating bigyan ng karagdagang pansin? Mga kaakibat na layunin tulad ng pagtuklas ng bagong kaalaman at inovasyon? At iba pang mga salik na mahalagang pag-uusapan tungkol sa hinahangad nating University of the Future. Asahan po ninyo ang aking patuloy na pagsuporta sa UPOU sapagkat kahanga-hanga at hindi matatawaran ang inyong ginagampan ng papel sa paghahanda sa UP para sa mga darating pang pagbabago sa teknolohiya at kalakaran sa ating lipunan. May I end with a quote from Drew Faust, former president of Harvard University, whom UPOU Chancellor Melinda Bandelaria cited in her position paper entitled University of the Future, an Articulation of a Perspective. I quote from uh, Dr. Faust, Universities nurture the hopes of the world in solving challenges that cross borders, in unlocking and harnessing new knowledge, in building cultural and political understanding, and in modeling environments that promote dialogue and debate. Close quote. For the past 26 years, UPOU has remained committed to this very path, evolving to meet the future with its uniquely UPOU flavor and firmly grounded upon UP's principles of honor and excellence in the service of humanity. I am one with the UP community in looking forward to the heights UPOU will continue to reach in the years to come. Mabuhay ang UP Open University. Thank you, President Concepcion, for your continued support to UP Open University as this matters a lot in sustaining what we have been doing. UPOU, as the University of the Future, shall continue to pursue our mandate despite the odds that may come. And to take stock of what we have accomplished in the past year and to also reflect on what path we hope to thread in the years to come, let us watch this UPOU 26th Anniversary AVP. The UP Open University as an open and distance e-learning institution, continuously explores and creates possibilities to bring UP education to all Filipinos residing in the country and abroad. It explores, 
adapts and reinvents appropriate educational pedagogies, both analog and digital technologies, to address the various circumstances of the different types of learners. The year 2020 is an unprecedented time. Sudden, unexpected change happened, altering the ways of life of billions of people across the globe. The education sector was heavily affected. Many educational institutions adapted technology-mediated teaching and administrative processes to ensure that learning would continue for their students. Something that the UP Open University has been implementing for many years. During the pandemic, UPOU not only supported its e-learners adjust to the new normal, it also assisted teachers, school administrators, and students from other institutions adapt to remote, distance e-learning. These are through webinars and podcasts on flexible modes of teaching and learning. Massive Open Online Courses or MOOCs on Odell. Online Training Programs and Webinars on Different Fields of Studies. While years of environmental degradation and social inequality have threatened the world's future, renewed perspectives are also opening up new vistas. Universities need to reflect on these challenges and carve new paths. UP Open University, as a university of the future, shall remain agile. It will constantly innovate and proactively redesign and improve current practices to address the various disruptions in the teaching and learning processes, as well as the evolving needs of the learners and the changing paradigm and situation. It is open and undeterred to take on challenges to ensure that quality education shall always be accessible to all lifelong learners globally. As we've seen, agility and sustainability are truly important for any university that's responsive to societal changes. And now, let's hear a message from the Chair of the Commission on Higher Education, Dr. Prospero de Vera. I would like to extend my warm congratulations to the University of the Philippines Open University on your 26th Foundation Day. As a faculty member of close to three decades, as Vice President of the University of the Philippines, and now as Chairman of the Commission on Higher Education, I have personally witnessed how UPOU has shaped the academic landscape of the country as it continues to fulfill its leadership role and mandate of widening access to quality education, a mission shared by the Commission on Higher Education and as an advocacy 
which I have pursued as chair, chairman. Since the pandemic broke out and the educational system in the Philippines experienced a major disruption, UPOU in partnership with CHED and other higher education institutions implemented initiatives aimed at assisting academic institutions cope with the disruptions and transition from the conventional face-to-face -face instruction to a more inclusive and agile, flexible learning system. In the process, we have collectively helped shape the future of universities and higher education in the country. This year, UPOU will continue working for its advocacy for sustainability and agility in education amidst disruptions while maintaining excellence and equity in education. CHED is therefore happy to join UPOU in this celebration and we look forward to many, many more years of working together so we can deliver quality education, innovative and responsive to the cause of the time. To the Filipino learners, wherever they are, and assist the Philippine higher education institutions to be future ready. Again, congratulations at Pabuhay and UPOU. Thank you, Dr. Devera. Another important factor for an institution to succeed are its partners. Here are some of our partners who have been supportive of our undertakings for so many years. Greetings from Norway. On behalf of ICDE, the International Council for Open and Distance Education, it is a pleasure for me to congratulate the University of Philippines Open University on your 26th anniversary. Throughout these years, you have proven to be a pioneer and a leading university for open, flexible and distance learning in the Philippines. You have also been actively engaged in the broader global community of our field and we share many fond memories together. As a long-standing member of ICDE, you have contributed to a series of virtual events by sharing your expertise with our global network, and we thank you for that. Again, congratulations on your 26th anniversary and the best of luck for the future. We look forward to many more years of fruitful collaboration. Congratulations to Professor Melinda Bandeleria and all colleagues on the 26th Foundation Day of the UPOU. This last year has been particularly challenging because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And your theme, Hallmarks of the University of the Future, is particularly relevant today. What are the hallmarks of the University of the Future? And how can UPOU play a leadership role? Let's look at three dimensions. First, we need to look beyond the current crisis and help build the capacity of institutions in all aspects of distance and online provision. The future of learning will be blended and more and more campus-based universities will need the support of distance providers to help them make that effective transition. Second, the changing nature of jobs requires constant skilling and reskilling. So how can we work with industry, employers and training providers to offer short courses for employment and entrepreneurship? Employability is going to be key. Third, we have seen a mass uptake of self-directed learning during the pandemic. And this becomes an important opportunity to promote lifelong learning for all. Lifelong learning has always been central to the mission of open universities. And we can play a leadership role in demonstrating how this can be effectively implemented. The pandemic has been a second coming for distance and online learning, which has moved from
from margin to mainstream. We have much to contribute. We need resilient systems that will enable us to face the brave new world with confidence. Thank you and congratulations again. To the officials and staff of the UP Open University, Chancellor Melinda Bandelaria, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a great day to everyone from all of us here in Simeo Secretariat, Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very honored to be here greeting you on your 26th Foundation Day. Well, as we all know, Simeo and UPOU have worked together in a number of projects like the CMOOCs and also Open Educational Resources. Regional cooperation between Simeo and AAOU through UP Open University was enhanced. We collaborated to promote open sharing, standardization and harmonization, quality assurance of ODEL. This facilitated the transfer of credit and lifelong learning initiatives among the learners in Southeast Asia. Truly, UPOU has shown the world that Open University is the way forward. And we come at a very special time when we have all the schools on lockdown, schools and universities have shifted radically to online learning something that is not new to UPOU. We are very excited to work with you further as you move forward after two and a half decades of continued success. Congratulations, UPOU, and I hope together we can embrace and celebrate agility and surpass all difficulties. Have a blessed day. To one of CIRCA's strong partners in our education and collective learning initiatives, we wish the UP Open University a blessed, happy 26th anniversary. We at CIRCA are one with UPOU in embracing sustainability and celebrating agility amid the COVID-19 pandemic, especially in developing a new breed of leaders and professionals in agriculture and rural development. Thank you, Chancellor Mel Bandilaria, for your leadership and continued support to CIRCA and the academic community. Salamat, UPOU. Once again, happy anniversary, UPOU, and may God bless you all. Thank you, our dear partners, for your kind and encouraging words. Throughout the program, you will be seeing more greetings and messages from our partners. On a lighter note, let us pause for a musical intermission from the UP Rural High School Glee Club with their own rendition of the song Leron Leron Sinta under the supervision of Assistant Professor Marife Rebutar Maquiera.
My dear friend, Professor Melinda Bandalaria, and all my colleagues at the University of the Philippines Open University. I cherish the most, Kumustaka. We hope all of you are doing well over there. On behalf of Universitas Terbuka Indonesia and the ASEAN Association of Open Universities, I would be very happy today to greet you all on this blessed 26th anniversary day of your institutions. The University of the Philippines Open University. Embracing sustainability and celebrating agility amid disruptions, Holma of the University of the Future. As what the theme of your celebration mentions, truly depicts the principle we all need to retain as an education provider and stakeholders to keep the learning activities having vigorous spirit during this difficult time we have been dealing with. I am utterly happy and proud of you. UPOU is one of the best open universities in Asia for having come this far and maintaining your service to the education world. Congratulations, UPOU, for another milestone you have reached. Thank you for giving me this chance today because UT and UPOU have had a great relationship for years. UPOU happiness belongs to UT as well. I hope this pandemic will end very soon, so I can see you in person. Have a blessed day and stay safe always. Kính thưa giáo sư tiến sĩ Melinda Della Pena Bandalaria, hiệu trưởng trường đại học mở Philippines. Tôi rất vui mừng được thay mặt cho tập thể sư phạm trường đại học mở Hà Nội gửi lời chúc mừng đến giáo sư tiến sĩ cũng như tập thể sư phạm trường đại học mở ở Philippines nhân dịp kỷ niệm 26 năm ngày thành lập nhà trường. Cũng như trường đại học mở Hà Nội, tôi tin rằng trong năm 2020, chúng ta đều vất vả để phòng chống dịch COVID-19 trên khắp toàn cầu. Nhưng chúng ta đã vượt qua vì một tinh thần rất mở. Chúng ta vượt qua được nhờ vào công nghệ, chúng ta vượt qua được nhờ vào một phần tư của thế kỷ chúng ta đã chuẩn bị công nghệ để cho ngày hôm nay Kính thưa giáo sư tiến sĩ hiệu trưởng Cũng như tập thể sư phạm Các sinh viên của trường đại học mở Philippines Thay mặt cho Các giảng viên Sinh viên Nghiên cứu sinh và học viên của đại học mở Hà Nội Chúng tôi luôn luôn bên cạnh các bạn Tôi mong rằng 26 năm qua Đã là những dấu ấn Để lại cho chúng ta một mối quan hệ thật tốt Thì năm thứ 27 Trở đi Chúng ta sẽ có những quan hệ tốt hơn, sát cánh bên nhau chặt chẽ hơn, kết nối với nhau bằng công nghệ hiện đại hơn, giúp cho sinh viên của hai nhà trường, những người dân hiếu học của hai dân tộc có được cơ hội tiếp cận với giáo dục mở tốt hơn. Một lần nữa, xin được gửi lời chào trân trọng nhất, lời chúc mừng nồng nhiệt nhất từ thập thể sư phạm, người học của Đặc Mở Hà Nội đến với các bạn. Chúc các bạn có một ngày lễ thật sự ấm áp, thành công trong năm mới. Xin chào, chào, cảm ơn. Hello and greetings from Kuala Lumpur. On behalf of the campus of community of Open University Malaysia, I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to the management, staff, students and graduates of University of Philippines Open University on the occasion 
of your 26th Foundation Day. As President and Vice Chancellor of OUM, I am indeed certain that my university was included in your Foundation's online anniversary program. This significant occasion with the team embracing sustainability and celebrating agility amid disruption, hallmarks of the University of the Future is certainly inspiring. I hope it will strengthen UPOU's effort in reaching new heights as the leading ODL institution in the Philippines. It is also my privilege to be given the opportunity to work closely with UPOU over the years, especially under OU5 Joint Collaborative Research Group. Moving forward, I hope to see many more opportunities for partnership within our institution of the future. Once again, on behalf of everyone at OUM, my heartiest congratulations and all the best to UPOU in your future endeavors. Greeting from Thailand. I am Associate Professor Dr. Prani Sankhatawat, Acting President of Sukhothai Thamathirat Open University, or STOU. On the occasion of the 26th anniversary of the University of the Philippines Open University, I wish to express my warmest congratulations to Dr. Melinda Vandalalia, the Chancellor, as well as all UPOU staff and students. UPOU and STOU have a very long relationship. We have been supportive of each other in many collaborative initiatives, researches, and various exchange programs. UPOU have been providing quality higher education for the people of the Philippines collectively at the desire to continually seek more knowledge since its commencement. Today, UPOU has much to celebrate in terms of success, and I hope that our valuable friendships continue to flourish in the year to come, and wish UPOU a beneficent 26th anniversary celebration and subsequent prominent futures. Dear Chancellor and members of UPOU, I've been privileged to be hosted by you as a visiting researcher and have enormously enjoyed the continued work and collaboration that I've had with you since that time. The current pandemic has highlighted for many the importance of online and distance teaching and learning, but I'm aware of the huge necessity of this work in your context which has led to significant achievements and support for education over the past 26 years. Without question, your work will be all the more needed over the next 26 years. Congratulations to you all at UPOU for 26 years of fundamental endeavor and support for online and distance education, bringing opportunities to so many who would otherwise not have had those chances. Gratitude for our fellow distance and e-learning practitioners and advocates from other countries. 2020 has been quite a year, but have you wondered what's in store for UPOU this year? What are the programs that UPOU has prepared for its community? Our Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Melinda F. Lomanta, shall give us an overview of the UPOU programs planned out in 2021. The UP Open University, in celebrating its 26th year anniversary, commits to articulating and concretizing the hallmarks of the University of the Future. Emerging from nearly a quarter of a century of open and distance learning, UPOU is uniquely positioned to lead in crafting a vision of the future in the education sector. In line with this, UPOU is proud to launch its initiatives.
Bukas Lab is a proposed space to support innovative, collaborative, and intersectoral initiatives for futures-based research, teaching, and public engagement projects. Bukas Lab will be situated in the DICT building in Diliman, Quezon City. The Futurist in Residence program will provide a resident practitioner selected from the competitive call, financial support, mentoring, and access to the Bulkas Lab and other facilities and resources at QPLU and as provided by competitive partners. The 2021 residency program will focus on education in volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous futures. Engines of Eternity Galing is an interactive artwork commissioned by Curiosity Brisbane an international public event in Australia celebrating science, art, and technology. The artwork focuses on a remarkable micro-animal called Vortifera, which can repair itself and its DNA by integrating foreign genetic material from its surroundings. These projects are supported by UPOU, Seeds, Curiosity Brisbane, and Curiosity Design Research. The development and offering of a free online course in Early Childhood Education Project shall provide capability enhancement opportunities to teachers and workers involved in childhood education, care, and development for them to ably prepare the children for the future. This is a collaborative undertaking of Faculty of Education UPOU with Ramon Aboitis Foundation Incorporated, Dolores Aboitis Children's Fund, and UPOU Foundation Incorporated. In support of the University of the Future Trust of UPOU, the Faculty of Management and Development Studies implements the UP System-funded Academic Program Improvement Initiative for 2021, titled Sustainability Perspectives in FMDS Programs issues and prospects. The project aims to 1. Identify sustainability issues and challenges in the context of the program's discipline or sector. 2. Develop proposals for either instruction, research, or public service that address, supports, or incorporate sustainability perspective or sustainable development goals. 3. Develop proposals to generate resources to sustainably support additional administrative support requirements of the academic program. FMDS also launches a massive open online course from each of its academic program in support of sustainable development goals. Aside from updating existing MOOCs like Interlocal Cooperation, Art in the ASEAN Region, and Child Rights Protection, FMDS is also in the initial stages of developing new MOOCs in the areas of Green City Planning, Creativity in R&D Management, ASEAN Food Culture and ASEAN Cultural Heritage, Environmental Empathy, Health Informatics and Bioethics, Palliative Care, Land Valuation and Management, and Gender. Open Talk is an online magazine program that will tackle current topics and concerns of the community. Experts on future topics shall be invited to talk in the program. Open Talk shall be aired live at UPOU Network's website and FB page. In its attempt to lead and reflect on current discourse and worldwide initiatives, UPOU shares these digital resources through the creation of the University of the Future webpage. The webpage features pertinent resources related to the UOF, including video recordings of UPOU's virtual roundtable discussions, talks related to this initiative, and other scholarly references. To concretize this initiative, UPOU shall pursue a robust publication program. It shall undertake the publication of the book entitled 
the University of the Future, a digital discourse capture. Aiming to capture the perspectives of UPOU constituents, the book intends to capture the discourse that transpired through the UPOU virtual roundtable discussion series, conducted from November 2020 to January 2021. It was participated in by UPOU faculty members, reps, admin staff, and selected students and alumni. Topics on quality, disciplinal dimensions, sustainability, and the changing educational landscape are tackled in attempts to define and refine conceptions of the University of the Future. In the area of research, UPOU launches a monograph series on futures research, which features webinars on topics related to scenario building, simulation approaches, decision support systems, and modeling. These are distinct research approaches in predicting and anticipating future conditions. Another book to be published is entitled Responding to and Looking Beyond the COVID-19 Pandemic. It showcases the use of webinars as an effective platform for universities to help communities and the professional sectors to craft solutions and initiatives to tackle the challenges brought about by the post-COVID-19 pandemic. Building on the series of webinars and online courses offered by the Faculty of Management and Development Studies, the book covers topics on health, management and governance, natural and built environment, and social development. E-copy versions of these publications shall be accessible in the UPOU Network's website. Several print copies shall also be available. With its commitment to gender and development, UPOU, through its Office of Gender Concerns, launches GAD Talk, a podcast series to mainstream gender. It shall particularly look at sexual harassment in the virtual environment. The podcast series will be aired once a month from April to December 2021 via UPOU networks and other podcast platforms. UPOU shall engage its alumni and students in its varied activities. It shall hold its very first Alumni Congress to strengthen ties and network between and among the alumni and UPOU. And student engagement shall be through the UOF Challenge. This is part of UPOU's continuing discourse on how it can shape the direction of the future of universities and education. UPOU invites students and other stakeholders to join this challenge to reimagine the university and the future of education. Recognition and awards will be given to the best idea presented at UPOU's International Conference. As a culminating activity, UPOU will hold the fourth International Conference on Open and Distance E-Learning with the theme, The University of the Future, Sustainability and Agility Amidst Disruption. The Biennial Conference has the following sub-themes. It will also feature 
the following. We at UPOU hope that you can all join us in these programs. Additional details shall be available in our websites and social media pages. Together, let us collaborate, share knowledge and expertise, and co-create knowledge towards establishing a university of the future. Dr. Numanta, indeed, 2021 shall be a busy year for the university, its stakeholders, and its partners. Speaking of partners, here are more greetings from our supporters and champions. Let me begin by saying my sincere congratulations to the University of the Philippines Open University's 26th anniversary. It is quite a feat to be able to reach this certain milestone. It is truly a privilege to be one of the university's partners since 2012. In particular for our InfoTeach outreach program, the flagship project that aims to better the lives of the students and teachers nationwide. This year's theme, Embracing Sustainability and Celebrating Agility Amid Disruptions, Hallmarks of the University of the Future, is something that hits close to home. Is there, there is one thing that the year 2020 has taught us, it is that the world constantly adapts to change amid chaos and darkness. In truth, change is the only thing that is certain in this world we live in. The year 2020 was a tough year, one that is filled with challenges, growth, and disruptions. It is one that has tested our strength and resilience to overcome life's hardships and come out with a courageous and enlightened spirit. As we embrace these changes, I hope that each one of us aims to create better versions of ourselves. Versions that are hopeful, persevering, kind, and brave. Changes are scary and it is always brings about uncertainty. But together, we walk towards the future with so much optimism and light. Our strong partnership with the University of the Philippines Open University is truly a testament of this. Walking hand in hand to a future where we enable the next generation to reach their goals and dreams. It is a future where we aspire for the world to change and for each one of us to find hope at the end of the tunnel. Once again, congratulations to the University of the Philippines Open University. May our partnership continue to grow and flourish amid these uncertain times. Onwards and upwards. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Frank Thiel. I'm the Managing Director for Quezon Power Philippines and also the General Manager for the San Buenaventura Power Project. Uh, both of these projects are located in uh, Mahoba and Quezon Province. I'm here to talk a little bit about, uh, about a program that we're very pleased to be a part of. This is the Teachers Development Program. Uh, this program began in uh, 2005 when we're currently in our uh, seventh batch. Uh, we have had over 109 graduates from this program, 17 of them are currently enrolled. This uh, program is really a joint venture between UPOU, University of the Philippines Open University, the LGU Mahoban, and the two projects, both Quezon Power and now San Buenaventura Power. This is a master's type uh, program, equivalent to a two-year master's degree 
uh, that is imparted to very well deserving teachers among the uh, uh, Quezon community. Once they graduate, these teachers not only uh, get an opportunity to get promoted, but they also go out and do a fantastic job imparting further education for all the students in, in Quezon province. So we're very pleased to be a part of it. Uh, we will continue to support this, this program. It's something that we believe strongly on. Uh, as we have said in the past, education is probably the greatest equalizer we can afford to our, our community, and so we will continue to support it. Again, many thanks for allowing us uh, an opportunity to be a part of this fantastic program. Rest assured that we will continue to support it, and we want to wish each and every one of you involved in this program uh, great success going forward. Thank you very much for allowing us to be a part of it. Good day. On behalf of the management of the Ramon Abuaitis Foundation Incorporated, let me congratulate the University of the Philippines Open University on your 26th Foundation Day. As one of Rafi's valued partners, we are glad to see the university as one of the pioneering institutions in online teaching and learning. Both organizations are aligned in addressing quality education in our country. Your themes, sustainability and agility amidst disruption, are essentials in surviving and adapting to our new or next norm. Rafi hopes to see your organization's success in this area as we also hope to strengthen our partnership so we can elevate the lives of the people we serve. Congratulations once again on your 26th year! Thank you dear UPOU partners for your confidence and trust in the university. Through the years, you supported and collaborated with UPOU on many of its undertakings. Now, it's our turn to express our thanks and gratitude to our partners in 2020 who have continued to work with us despite the disruptions. Been a meaningful time for the UPOU family. We hope you had a wonderful time as we celebrate our 26th year of establishment. To officially close our program, we'd like to call on the Chair of the Anniversary Committee and the Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration, Dr. Jean A. Saludades. In our 25th anniversary celebration last year, the UP president said that UPOU is the university of the future with its open and distance e-learning philosophy and practices. He did not realize the future he talked about would become the present in just about two weeks after the celebration when governments worldwide imposed lockdown to contain the pandemic. But they meant disturbing not just the educational lives, but all spheres of life the world over. In the days that ensued, UPOU freely shared open educational resources and everything that it knew in an attempt to help in sustaining educational activities and developing the agility required of the moment. Today, we celebrate UPOU's milestones. We were given a retrospective account of the UPOU in the year that was. Also today, we chart the UPOU's master plan in the near future. We were given a glimpse of the prospective activities of the UPOU in the year that is or in the days to come. Our appreciation to every institution and every individual who has been with UPOU all these 26 years, and we hope you continue to be with us as we continue to pursue to be the university of the future.
Thank you.